optional today. We're going to use either a broom or a towel for a little bit of mobility work. So if you have a broom or towel belt, something handy, you can go ahead and grab that. Uh, we'll take about a minute, get anything you need, water, optional supplies, uh, and then we'll get going. So looks Laura, like we will, have an, will an ice scraper work? I'll permit it. Um, you want something that's pretty wide because you're going to be moving through a range. But if you have something that's narrow, that's fine. Your range will be somewhat more limited, but you can still work through it. I see it. I like it. Awesome. Uh, an, an ice scraper. Nice. An ice scraper. Shows which part of the country that you We're in Boston. In. We, this we is don't have like... too many ice scrapers in LA. <laughs> Hey, uh, can 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 we use beach towels in uh, St. Pete? Yes, you can absolutely use your beach towel. <laughs> rub it in. Yes, you can. Does anyone else have any geographic questions about what you can use? <laughs> All right, cool. We'll go ahead and set your uh, your item off to the side. Grab a big sip of water. Get your cycle going. Checking those bands. One finger between the bands. No more than one finger. If you've got Two. You've got a little bit room to tighten them up. Find your cycle. And go ahead and get that going. All right. And just starting to work the fingers out a little bit. We're going to start with some mo. build all the whole time. So doing this, you're going to work your arms all the way up towards straight, and then you're going to re-bend into them. And if you don't have a wall handy, you can do this lying down on the floor. I want you to actively press the backs of your arms against the floor the whole time you do this, keeping your core engaged. So pick your wall, your floor, and if you don't have either, you can do it just pressing your elbows back, working those arms all the way up towards straight, and then rebending into the elbows. And we wanna really keep the core and the glutes engaged. So really working through that resistance all the way up and then all the way back down. And as you come down, bend the elbows into the midline of the body, squeeze the shoulder blades together and reach the arms all the way up again. And take say four more of these. We're not going for time. We're not going for reps or anything. Just feeling the backs of the shoulders start to open up. And as we reach out, make sure our arms are fully lengthening, opening up the shoulders, nice slow pace, squeezing the blades together as we pull the elbows back. Good. Pressing the arms behind you. Nice, team. You've got it the whole time. Good. Your butt, your shoulders, and your forearms stay in contact with the wall. And we'll do one more. Good. Bend into it. Feel the backs of the Arms working, the back is working, those posture muscles between the blades and come up. And then go ahead and bring the arms down by your sides, give the shoulders a roll. And let's grab the broom, the towel, the ice scraper, depending on where you are, whatever you have. You're gonna take it between your hands, think slightly wider or a lot wider than shoulders distance. And if you have a narrow object, just work as far up into it as you can. We're gonna reach all the way back Bring the arms back behind you. You might have to let go of some of that tension and then bring the arms up and back around. And as you do this, your back is gonna to wanna to sway out. Think about keeping your tailbone tucked under. And if you can't get your arms back behind you, take an even wider grip. And if it's easy, take a narrower grip. Really challenge your shoulders here. So let's add some breath. As we inhale, we go all the way up. Exhale, we drop it back behind us. You can feel that stretch across the chest. And then other way, inhale, we come up. Exhale, arms come down. And we're gonna take one more. Inhale, come up. Exhale, drop it back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bring it around. And if you don't have anything to grip on, you just imagine you do. Make this, arms are nice and long. Everyone lift your arms up, grip that item, whatever it might be, even if you're just gripping your own fist. And imagine you're 
pulling your fist the item in opposite directions. We're going to punch the fist up towards the ceiling and pull as hard as we can. We have 10, 9, 8, growing taller, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold that tension, reach your arms forward, press forward, pull that item in opposite directions, working into the back of the shoulders for 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, reach your object up, maybe your fist, create that tension, big old stretch over to the right. And pull back up through center and over to the left. And back through center and then stepping the feet slightly wider than hip distance, rotate over to the right, keep reaching your arms up and bring it back through center and over to the left and center and take a couple more, drawing your navel in towards your spine to engage the core to help us squeeze out a little bit more range of motion here. And center, one more set, good. And then come back through center, set your broom, your towel, your ice scraper, your imaginary object down. And we're gonna make our way onto hands and knees to continue opening up the spine. So those of you who have done yoga before might be familiar with this. If you have not, you're in for a treat. So we start to stack our joints, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. As you inhale, drop your belly button down towards your floor, lift your collarbones and your tailbone, take a big breath in. As you exhale, push the floor away from you, round out your spine, dome the upper back. Inhale, drop the belly, lift your collarbones and tailbone. Exhale, round it all out. And we'll take two more. And let it go. On this next one, lift the chest, the tailbone, and hold it. Imagine you're pulling your chest between your arms, lengthening out even more. And then round out the spine. Pull the belly button in. Push the floor away from you. And then we'll come into a neutral spine, flat back for our last mobility work for the upper body. Take your right hand to the back of your head. And as we do this, we're gonna wrap our right elbow to our left elbow underneath the body. And then you're gonna lift your right elbow up, work towards stacking your shoulders, so squeezing out as much range as you can here. Let's do a couple more. Inhale, take elbow to elbow. Exhale, open it up. And last two. Inhale, wrap down. Exhale, find that lift. And on this next one, we're going to tap the elbows together. And then as you lift the top arm up, hold it, squeezing out that range, pushing the floor away from you with bottom hand. Good. We have five, four, three, and two. Release the right hand, roll the wrist out. And let's move right into the other side. I'm going to flip around so I can see everyone. So taking the left hand to the back of the head, as you inhale, wrap elbow to elbow into the body. Exhale, open it up to the left. Inhale, take it down. Exhale, open it up. And take three more on your own. And you might notice that you have more mobility on one side than the other. That is completely normal. Good. And on this next one, we're going to lift and hold it. So lift the elbow up as high as you can. Squeeze out that range for four, three, two, and one. Roll the left wrist out. And then come back up to stand or sit. We're going to do our forearm work. We only start with the arms working the smaller muscles before the bigger muscles. And I'm just gonna scoot my band up a little bit. All right. So we wanna make sure that we keep the elbows glued into the midline of the body here. So no letting them splay out to the sides. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make fists with your hands. And for 30 seconds, we're just gonna work them side to side. So really isolating the wrist joint and the forearm muscle. So first 30 seconds, we are going Keeping those elbows drawn in, wrist goes side to side. Mm -hmm. And you might start to notice the veins in your arms. 
There we go. You see how much range here you can squeeze out as well. Some comes all the way in the form and the pinky does too. Good. And we have five, four, three, and two. Shake it out. Now this next set, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna move a little bit faster. Go ahead and glue those elbows into the midline of the body. Make this, create that tension. We're going side to side. Now notice that the forearms are not moving. We're really isolating the joint side to side. And the more you squeeze the fist, the more tension you create. Tops of the hands are starting to feel it. We're working. <laughs> Good. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it out. Okay. One more forearm exercise. So you're going to take your left hand to your right bicep to keep it stable. Making a fist with your right hand, you're going to draw a circle as big as you can with the right wrist, but we're keeping our left hand here to keep everything stable. So first 30 seconds, moving that right wrist around, not letting the arm budge at all. And I don't know about you guys, but I even felt that first exercise, just wrist moving side to side. So this is getting into it even more, keeping that forearm facing up the whole time. Let's see where we're at. 10 more seconds, work through it. See if you can squeeze out a bigger circle each time. For five, four, three, two, and rest. Grab the back of your hand and gently encourage your fingers down towards your hand. Give it a stretch. And last forearm work, let's do the other side. So taking your right hand to your left bicep, drawing it into the body. The palm is facing up, 30 seconds. We're just circling around. And I am a right-handed person. So my right hand is always easy to, is always a little bit more mobile than my left side, just because I use it more. You seeing where this may or may not be true for you. And see if you can squeeze a little bit tighter with the fist, really see the veins working here. And we have five, four, three, two, and rest. Take the hand, stretch the fingers out, stretch the wrist out. And then if you're not standing, come on up to stand. Get that cycle going for tricep extensions and bicep curls. So we've done forearms, working up to another small muscle, our triceps, back of the arm. We're going to pull the elbows into the body. The, we have two sets. The first set is flow. So elbows are in. The first one, we reach back, extend through the fingers, draw the arms back in. Reach back, extend through the fingers, pull it back in. 30 seconds, really creating fists, and then reaching back behind you, Extending, lengthening out the arms. There we go. Nice and slow. And as John likes to coach, which I really like, we go in, two, out, two. In, two, out, two. We should already be feeling it. Pressing back. Leading with the pinky finger as we reach. Last five. Four, three, two. Extend and hold it. Lengthen those fingers out, little pulses at the top. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Straighter arms, two, and one. Good. Right arm across the body. Take the stretch. And switch sides. And last set. This time we're going fast. Elbows glued in. So the movement in towards the body can be not as mindful, where I really want you to focus is that press out, out, out. So 30 seconds, we are going. We extend, extend, fast, fast. Wherever you are, making sure your spine is straight. We don't want to round out. And reach, reach, reach. If you have a bend in your knees, you can go even lower. Drop your chest lower, really working into the back of those arms. Woo, the only thing's working. See if we can pick up the pace. We have 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, extend, hold, little lift, up and up. Pinky fingers lift, shoulders draw down the back of the body for eight, seven, high to six, five, 
four, yes, three, two, and rest. Awesome. Right hand between the shoulder blades. Take that stretch. And switch sides. Left hand between the blades. Moving on into bicep curls. And if anyone has questions at any point throughout the workout, we'll take pauses. But also feel free just to unmute, give a shout, throw something in the chat at any time. That's what we're here for. So moving on to bicep curls. Before we were lax on the pull in, but really focusing on the pull out. This time we're gonna bring elbows, arms straight out in front of us. I want you to focus on curling in and releasing on the way out. So we're gonna do two sets, arms out, elbows in line with shoulders, make those fists. We curl one, two, out, two, in, two, out, two. And if your elbows start to drop, pick them up, keep them up the whole time. Out, two, in, two, out, two. I see my muscles working. Good. In five, we're going to pull the fist in and hold. We have four, three, two. Pull those fists in. Little punches. Fist towards shoulders. Get those elbows up for five, four, three, two. Extend and hold right into the second set. Fast movements. Go. In, out. In, out. Let me see what we've got going on. Ian got it. Brandon, I see you working. Nice. Keeping those elbows up. Good, John. Bonnie is moving. So is Justin. Livy, yes. Last 10 seconds. And we're going to make fists and pull them in and hold. We have five, four, three, two. Little pulses in and in. Elbows up for eight, seven, six. Squeezing five, four, three, two, and rest. We're going to take a quick pause here before we dive into our next set. Questions, comments, feedback, anyone? Everybody looks good. Everybody looks really good. My I hands like are it. <laughs> your hands are numb? I know. Let's, let's uh, check them. Um, okay. If let's check really quick. Everyone grab your palm. Give it a press. Make sure the blood comes back. Yeah. If your hands <laughs> Within are... Within three seconds. Yeah. If your hands are, uh, are numb, loosen the band up. Shake out your arm, rotate it a bit, and then re-tighten it, but not as tight. So we don't want complete numbness. Like if you touch your finger, you should be able to feel it. If they're tingling, that's okay. That's good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I didn't know. I figured yeah. I was like, this is interesting. Yeah. Yeah. No, you don't want to, you don't want to go. We don't need actually to go that far. Um, and it's, it's optimal when they're tingling, but not numb. So you always want to be able to feel everything. I think in your case, it would just put it out real tight. All right, back over to you, Laurel. Hey guys, sorry, my computer is having a fun time. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Awesome, okay. All right, next up, we have forearm plank rotation. So we're gonna come down into a forearm plank. We have three sets, 30 seconds. So I'm in my forearm plank, and I'm gonna take left arm in front of right. I'm gonna rotate over to the side and switch sides. So I'm rotating side to side in my forearm plank, okay? So ideally, we keep the hips up. If this does not work with your hips up, you can do it with your knees on the floor, rotating side to side, okay? So whatever variation works for your body today, there's always modifications. Um, go ahead and make your way into your forearm plank. Take your left arm in front of your right, working towards stacking the feet. We're gonna roll over to one side and then roll over to the other. And keep going side to side. Our time is going. Making sure we keep our hips up the entire time. Awesome. Good. Last 10 seconds. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice job. So for our next set, take a breath, a break. We're gonna roll into one side, reach. Roll into the other side, reach. One side, reach. 
other side reach. So make your way onto your forearm plank, second set, optional arm reach, and go. And making sure those hips are up. Let's see what we've got going on here. I see Kayleen. I see Jeff and Adrian. I like it. I see Ethan's room and just an arm coming up every now and then. Good. Quentin's doing it. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Take a gaze at your screen. Our last set, we have an optional leg lift. So we roll over up switch sides so you can do arm in the leg or you can do any of the previous variations so last set make your way onto your forearm 30 seconds rolling over to one side option to lift arm in the leg take it down roll over onto the other side and we're going and as we go through our variations, any of the previous options is always available to you. Better to move and to do something. Awesome, Brandon. Cool. Adrian's got it. We have 10 more seconds. Nice, George. Keep those hips up, Diaz, go. We have five, four, three. Nice, Justin, two, and rest. Good job. Now, Last one on our hands. Then we have one more exercise on our backs and we're gonna move on. So this is a plank walk out and walk in. We're doing two sets, 30 seconds. We're in plank position. We walk out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. My upper body, my hips do not move. You can always do this on your knees too. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. First set, 30 seconds and go. Out. Out, in, in. See if you can take this one really slow. Get used to the movement because the next one we're going to move fast. So focusing more on stability of the rest of the body. Nice. And are your hips wiggling? Are they nice and strong and still? We have 10 more seconds. Good. We're going to drop the knees in five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome. Optional child pose. You can press your butt back towards your heels. Extend your arms out. Take a couple breaths. Let everything rest. Go ahead and let's start to shift our weight forward for a second set. This time we are moving fast. So go ahead and make your way up into plank. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. We are going. Let me see you move. Cool. I can't see Charles moving, but I know he's there. Same with Lily and Sean. <laughs> awesome. We are half done. Good, Bonnie. Go, John, go. I see Sydney and friend. I know Chris is moving. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Last movement. This is for the muscles of the back. I'm going to come on down. Got a table in my screen. There we go. I root my elbows into the floor. And I press up and down. As you press up, I want you to feel the muscles of your back contracting to help you get off the floor. We press up, press the elbows into the floor, squeeze, and come back down. Press up, squeeze, come back down. Two 30 second steps. So go ahead, once you're down onto your back, root the elbows into the floor, slightly below your shoulders. Fingertips come up. First set, press up, squeeze at the top, and lower yourself back down. Press up, squeeze the shoulders together, and come back down. Let's see. A little bizarre, but I see it, and everyone's doing it. Good. And you can really control how hard this exercise is based on how much you squeeze the top, really pushing the elbows in towards the floor. Half done. Nice. Good. Final 10. Good. We have five, four, three, 
two, and one. Everyone reach your arms up and back behind you. Hook your thumbs. And imagine you're pulling your thumbs in opposite directions to get a stretch across the back of the shoulders. Switch the hook of the thumbs, other one on top. Keep reaching the fingertips back behind you, pulling the thumbs in opposite directions. And then root your elbows into the floor. Last upper body exercise. We are going press up and come down. Press up and come down. Cool. Tucking the chin into the chest so we don't compromise the neck. I like it. Half done. All right. Final 10 seconds, and then we're going to switch out to our leg band. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone pull your knees into your chest. Rock and roll two or three times up to sit. Pause to drink some water, switch out your bands, ask some questions. I'll let Steve unmute everyone. And while we do that, let's get an idea of who's in our room. Um, if anyone wants to shout, give us a shout in the chat. Let us know who you are, where you're from. Steve, I'll let you take it from here for a minute. Thank you, Florida. <laughs> you're from Florida with your beach towel? That's right, baby. Beach town, two dogs. And now it's straight cat. <laughs> Judy is from San, San Francisco. <laughs> All right, for California. Uh, uh, Ethan Shipman will be a freshman at UCLA. Oh, nice. <laughs> Ooh, guys. UCLA. I see Munitonis girls getting some. Yeah, they're identical twins, Sydney and Sophia. <laughs> With their teammates, uh, let's see, Livy, Kayleen, and others. New more California from my garage. We're still on the so we're still on the like the higher end. So we're probably going to get ours last. Uh, it's probably going to be people that really need it. Uh, so it's uh, before we get it. I see Bonnie from Arizona. Cool. Lily, hello, Lily Moy from north of Boston, correct, I, I believe. Uh, Lily, where are you from? Well, how are you? I'm just working out. <laughs> All right, okay. as we put on our leg bands, if you have not already taken a seat for a second, letting your muscles relax. Go ahead and take a seat really tight notes of strap. Uh, you're okay. You're okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Go ahead, Laurel. Unmute yourself. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Cool. All right. So come on down to sit really tighten up your straps. Get them all the way up into the leg creases. All right, can you hear me? Yes. Cool. So go ahead and get those straps. Down so you can see me. All right. And so first up, we have happy feet. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Then we go jacks, one, two, three, four, five. Happy feet, one, two, three, four, five. Jacks, one, two, three, four, five. We're doing that nonstop for a minute. So go ahead and restart your cycle. I'm gonna get my trusty timer going. And we're gonna go ahead and go into happy feet to jumping jacks. Everyone, and go. And I'm gonna let you count your cycles. I'll just be up here demonstrating as a reference. Really get those feet up, get the toes off the mat, high knees. Move through it. I see people moving. We are almost half done, keep going. Getting our heart rate up. 
See if you can go a little bit faster on those jacks. Half done. And last 20 seconds. All right, we have 10. Keep moving as fast as you possibly can. For five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone shake it out, take a rest. Because we move in order from smaller muscles to bigger muscles, our first move for the legs is going to be a half raise to squat. We come up, we lower. Option to take hand to a wall here if you've got one. You can also just do the cap raise. You don't have to add the squat. So we have two 30 second sets. First one, let's dive in it to, into it together. So, calves up, butt down, butt up, and lower. We go up, butt down, and up, and lower. There we go. Trying to keep your heels as high as you can. And if the bottom lowers don't work, you can just go up and down with the heels. We have 10 more seconds here. See how low you can go, keeping your heels off the floor. We're gonna lift and hold in five, four, three, two. Lift those heels, little pulses up and down for 10, nine, eight, seven. Good balance, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release, shake it out. Second set, same thing. We're gonna work into it at the bottom together again. So. Heels up, we drop down, we rise and lower. Heels up, we drop down, we rise and lower. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, Bonnie, I love it. <laughs> nice, Ethan. Livy, I like that little hand flare you got at the top. That's cool. <laughs> yes. Last 10. In five, we're gonna drop our butt down and hold it. We have three, two, drop your butt down. Keep those heels up, little pulses with your butt for 10. Nine, heels up, eight, seven, six, five. Good job, four, three, two. We rise up, drop the heels down, and march it out. For our next exercise, we're gonna jump right into it. It is a lateral bear walk. We have three sets. So the position I'm in is called bear. My shoulders are under wrist, my knees are under my hips and they're hovered off the floor. I'm gonna walk side to side. 30 seconds, walking over to one side, 30 seconds, walking to the other. That's the first step. The second set, we walk over to one side, butt back, shift forward, walk over to the other. Butt back, Shift forward, walk it out. For the third set, we're gonna add an optional push-up. Walk it over, shift back, shift forward, push up, and re-walk over. Shift back, shift forward, push up, and walk it out. So, first set, we're moving side to side, bear walk, and go. Nice, Brandon, looks really good. <laughs> John, I'm sure your dog is gonna be a little confused. <laughs> cool. Barbara and Judy, I can't see your video, but keep going, good work. And last 10. Go James, Masako, Shana, or Shana, sorry if I got that wrong. We're gonna rest the knees in five, four, three, two, and drop the knees. Give the hips a circle one direction. Move them around the other way. And for this next set, you can keep moving side to side, or if you want more, you can come over, press your butt back, press forward, Check to make sure that alignment is good. Walk over to the other side. Press back, press forward, and keep walking. Second set, go. Perfect. 
Looking good. Mm-hmm. And if the wrists start to get tight, That's just as great. All right, half done. When we press our back, getting it all the way back to our heels, we have 10. Keep breathing, keep going. We're gonna drop the knees in five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees and go ahead and come on up to sit. Give the wrist a roll. Roll them out the other way. And for our last set, we're gonna add in that optional push-up. So I'm in bear. I walk over to one side. I press my butt back, shift forward, walk out, push up, come back into bear. Over to the other side, butt back, come forward, push up and walk back. Final 30 seconds, go for it. Working a little bit of upper and lower body all together. When we're in that bear position, we wanna try and keep our back nice and flat so the hips don't pike up towards the ceiling. Working the muscles of our core, our thighs, our spine, our shoulders, our chest. Half done. Woo, last 10. In five, we're gonna press back into downward facing dog for a hamstring stretch. We have three, two, press your hips all the way up and back, pushing the floor away from you with your hands and bend alternate knees, pedaling them out. There's a lot of hamstring contraction. All right. And go ahead and press your hips up and back. Take a micro bend in both knees. Take a couple breaths here. And we take a little bend in our knees to release our low back. And then start to walk your hands back towards your feet. Let everything hang. Roll on up to stand. And we've got one minute of our heart rate boost. So five seconds, happy feet. Five, four, three, two, one. Jumping jack, five, four, three, two, one. One minute, let's go. And when you do happy feet, see if you can really get the knees up. Fast jack. Here we go. Even faster. Imagine you're sprinting with those knees. Half done. Keep up that pace. You want to get our heart rate going. Ooh, last 20. If you want an extra challenge here, alternating leg taps, keep going. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> last 10. We're gonna rest in five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone grab water, take a pause. Questions, comments, feedback, now is the time. Huh? Huh? That's awesome. <laughs> cool thank you all right oh you're good <laughs> <laughs> thank you that means a lot okay so our next exercise i'm going to demonstrate as we allow our heart rate to slow down a little bit we are in squat position starting with the right leg got to get my cords out of the way I keep squat position the whole time. I never fully stand out and lock out the legs. So in squat, I go down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Keep your butt low, keep your back flat. None of this, keep it straight, okay? So we're starting with the right leg only and we're doing 30 seconds right leg then 30 seconds left leg. If you need more of a challenge here, it's just that kind of day, you can do it with your hands behind your head. Otherwise, hands here, hands here, doesn't matter as long as your spine is straight. First 30 seconds, starting with the right leg, get into that squat position, feet are hip distance apart, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Your hips and your butt don't move. They stay the same height the entire time. 
If you want to go for speed, go for speed. Otherwise, take your time. Bonnie, that is an awesome modification. I love it. Perfect. Ooh, I see hands behind the head. You can also do arms straight up if you want. We have 10 more seconds here. That step back is great. Good, we're gonna come up to stand in five, four, three, two, one. Everybody up, clasp your hands, bend the knees, dive forward. Once you're here, bend and straighten the legs. Release those hamstrings. Good, four more. Three, two, and one. Jump back into squat, this time leading with the left leg. And Bonnie was actually doing a really great modification that I like. If coming down to the knees is too much, you can step back, alternating legs. That is wonderful. So thank you for that one, Bonnie. Option to have the hands down, hands behind the head or arms straight, starting with the left leg, go. Up, up, down, down, up, up. Cool. <laughs> Good, if your hands are behind your head, making sure your chest stays up. We're not arching our back, hunching on our shoulders. We're standing tall and proud as we do this. Yes, I see a modification and that's perfect. It's cool. I see John's dog, I see Quentin working. <laughs> Adrian, see if you can get those arms even straighter. Yes, last 10 seconds. Ooh, that's perfect. We have five, four, three, two and one. Good job. We're combining our core and our full body work all in one. So it's a plank jack to frog jump. In its full most difficult form, we're in plank. We plank jack, frog jump. Plank jack, frog jump. Now modification. Step, 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 step. Step to the side, step to the side, step up, step up. What I really want you to focus on here is when you hop or step your feet up, get them up high, okay? So, two 30-second sets. First one, we're really gonna get our heart rate going and go plank jack, frog jump. Plank jack, frog jump. Option to step up and up. Yes. <laughs> nice, Brandon. Mm-hmm. Whoever's on here, the iPhone is flying. <laughs> Go, Kayleen. Go, George. Sean, James, Lily, Charles, and Taco. Keep doing what you're doing. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees. So because we did a frog jump, we're gonna take a frog stretch. So take your knees wider than hip distance. I want heels in line with the knees. So don't let your heels sneak together. And then you're just gonna start to press your butt backwards and forwards. So we had frog jump, now we're in frog stretch. If you have tenderness in your knees, you can come down for a wide-legged sit. You're stretching the inner thighs, similar position. Otherwise, on your hands and knees, work into it, backwards and forwards. Good, now everyone press your butt back and hold it. See if you can come down onto your forearm. If you're in that wide-legged stretch on your butt, you can just walk your arms forward, let yourself hang. Keep pressing your butt back towards your heels. We have 10 seconds here, breathe into it. Relax your shoulders, your jaw, your forehead. For five, four, feel that big stretch, three, two, and one. Come on to your palms, wiggle the knees together. Give the hips a wiggle side to side, and we're gonna move right into our second set. Plank jump, plank jack to frog jump. Time is going. And because we took that nice frog stretch, the inner thigh should have opened up a little bit as well as the outer hips to help you get those feet even higher. Yes, John. Half done, 15 more seconds. Good. We're gonna do a strength exercise after this. So we're gonna let the heart rate rest. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Come on up to stand, shake it out. 
Okay. Final of our strength exercises, and then we're gonna take it down for core. So it is a split lunge. My left foot is forward, my right foot is back. When you are in this lunge position, I drop the back knee, lift the back knee. Drop the back knee, lift the back knee. Let's keep it simple. 30 seconds, right leg back and go. Lower and lift, making sure the front knee is over the ankle. Maybe you can even tap the back knee to the floor, chest is up, squeezing your glutes as you press into the front heel the whole time. Down and up, down and up. Nice, there we go. Good. And for a little extra stability, make sure that you're not on a tightrope. So if you need to scoot the right foot over to the right, you can do it. In five, we're going to drop the back knee and hold it. We have three, two, drop the back knee, little pulses up and down for 10. Squeeze that glute. We have five, four, three, two, hold at the bottom, get low. And then step the back foot up to meet the front foot, shake it out. And we switch sides. Step the right foot back, left foot forward. Option to step the feet wider. If the balance is difficult here, do it with a wall, a chair, maybe that same broomstick you used before as a prop, hands to hips, or more of a challenge this time, arms straight up, 30 seconds, other side. We go down, up, down, and up. And if you choose to keep your arms straight, keep them really straight, work into the shoulders. Go, Quentin. Nice, Adrian. Good, I see those glutes, those thighs working. Good catch, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Sydney, and I don't remember your sister's name, I'm so sorry, but keep Sophia. going, good job, girls. Sydney and Sophia, team S. Good, in three, you drop and hold. Two, drop that back and you hold it, little pulses, 10. Nine, lower, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's just get straight to the hold. Squeeze it as low as you can. And step it up, shake it out. Good job, gang. We have core and we are done for our workout. So come on down to sit. I'm gonna angle my screen down so you can see my mat. We did a lot of hamstring contractions today. So lengthen out the leg, give them a pedal. Reach your arms forward, get deep into a hamstring stretch, using the length of the arms to pull you down. It doesn't matter how far you can reach, as long as you're using your upper body to get into it. And then roll on up to sit. Our first exercise, we have 30 seconds. It's a roll up, toe touch. What I'd like to see is we roll up, touch, and roll down. Roll up, touch, and roll down. If straight legs is not happening, do it with bent knees. Roll up, touch, and come down. Side to side, 30 seconds of that. Then we have seated rotations. My heels are into the floor. I rotate side, center, side, center. Each time, see how far back you can reach. After that, last thing, we have reverse crunches. Up and down, 30 seconds, and we are done. So let's start with that roll up toe touch. Everyone come up to sit. We're gonna make our way down onto our backs together. So rolling out the spine, coming all the way down for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, 30 seconds. Reach your arms up and back behind you. Roll up, touch, and down. Roll up, touch, and down. And see how high off your upper back you can get. So we're not only working the lower part of our abs, we're also working our upper abs. Everything is working together. Kayleen, those are fantastic. Yes, go girls. And if you have tight hamstrings, this is hard. And that's exactly why we do it. We have five, four, three, two, one. Rock and roll up to sit. Root your heels into the floor. Bring your arms up. Imagine you're holding a beach ball. John, our Florida guy, really understand this, understands this one. We reach back. Come up and, and come up. Rolling back as far as you can without letting your heels lift off the floor. And up, back, and up, side to side. Already half done. 
Final 10 seconds, really challenge yourself. Worst case scenario, your heels lift, but that's okay. We're going stronger. Good, we're gonna come up to sit in five, four, three, two, roll up to sit. Root your feet all the way into the mat without letting your toes lift. Roll down as slowly as you can. And then once you come down onto your back, hands come down by the side. Last 30 seconds, get your butt up and down. Reverse crunch, firing up the lower abs. Even if it's just a micro millimeter, whatever that measurement is off the floor, doing something. 20 more seconds. Pressing those hands into the floor to help you get your butt up. Keep those legs straight. Maybe even glue your ankles together for 10. Awesome, Jeff. Good, go Sydney and Sophia, we have five, four, three, two. Pull your knees into the chest, give yourself a big hug. Rock and roll up to sit, come on to hands and knees. Step your left foot outside your left hand. And then start to make your way down, bending the elbows towards your forearms. If you can't get your forearms towards the floor, that's why we do it. We just bend into the elbows, let your body hang inside the left leg. Feeling a nice big stretch in the outer hip. And we wanna keep pulling the left knee in towards the left shoulder. Don't let it splay out to the side. And take two big breaths here, letting the head hang, starting to work down towards the forearm. And then keeping your left foot exactly where it is, press your hands into the floor, angle those toes out to the left and let the knee fall open to the side. Now we wanna keep pressing our hips down and our chest up, feeling that all in the adductor, the inner thigh, also known for gentlemen as the groin. Keep going taller. And then rotate that foot back through center, step it back. Switch sides, right foot outside, right hand. Try and keep heel underneath knee. And then as you hug the right knee in towards the body, come down towards form. Let the shoulders relax. Let your fingers relax. Final two breaths. And then keeping your right foot where it is, make your way onto your palms, angle the toes out, let the knee fall open. Hips down. You can even take your right hand to the knee, gently encourage, we don't force. Good. And then rotate that foot back through center, step the knee back, rock side to side. Tuck your toes, hips up and back into downward facing dog. Walk, walk, walk your feet in to meet your hands. Let everything hang, keep your head a shake. Yes, aha, uh -huh, we did it. And as slowly as you possibly can, roll up to stand one vertebrae at a time. Head, neck, and shoulders lift last. We'll meet standing. Reach those arms up. Clasp your palms. Press the base of them up towards the ceiling. One big shoulder stretch. And then release the hands. Give yourself a round of applause. Awesome job, everyone. We will be right here again tomorrow. Join us on Facebook. Feel free to give us a shout in the comments or unmute yourself if you have any questions and I'll hand it over to see from here. Good job. Awesome. Thanks, Laurel. Sweet. Welcome. Good job, gang. Yeah, thanks, okay. Laurel. That was fun. Yeah, thanks. That was a great challenge. <laughs> That's awesome. You're awesome. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. <laughs>